Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the measurement of power in balanced three phase circuit by two watt meter method. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic measurement of power in a balanced three phase circuit by two watt meter method. So this is the method for three phase power measurement in which sum of reading of 2 watt meter will give the total power of the system. So in order to measure the three phase power we are using only 2 watt meters. The reading of these 2 watt meter will give the total power of the system. Now we will see the circuit diagram. So this is the phase R Y B. In phase R one watt meter is connected. In phase B, another watt meter is connected. Two watt meters are connected. In phase Y, the watt meter is not connected. So this is nothing but M, L, C, V. The four terminals of the uh, watt meter. This is measurement line. So the common terminal, this is voltage. The M, L, C, V. Right? M is connected to R, R phase. L is connected to the line, line connected to the phase. C is the common terminal. V is the voltage. That is connected to the next watt meter connected to another watt meter similarly here m is connected to b phase l is connected to the phase of the winding then v is short circuited so reading of these two watt meter will give the total power of the three phase system now we'll see how it will give the total power so the load is considered as inductive load and thus phasor diagram for inductive load is shown in shown below so we consider the inductive load. So there is a lagging and of uh, lagging and leading of current will occur. Now we see this. This is the VR, the VR, and this is VY and VB. There are three voltages are available. This R VR is the phase voltage, R phase voltage, Y phase voltage, and B phase voltage. Right. So VY, this side we have minus VY. So we have three phase voltages VR, VY, VB. For VY, we have negative of VY minus VY is available. We are going to measure VBY because watt meter is connected in the B phase and R phase. So we are measuring VBY and VRY. Right? This is the voltage connected voltage across R phase and Y phase. This is B phase and Y phase because watt meter connected in R phase and B phase. Y phase is common. So this V R Y is nothing but vector difference of V R and minus V Y. There is a vector difference. So this vector difference of these two will give V R Y. Similarly V B Y is the vector difference of V B and minus V Y. The current direction is different so that we are getting vector difference. This current of the old current of V I B and I Y is opposite side so that we are getting minus V Y. So the vector difference of VB and minus VY will give VBY, right. So while calculating the power what we need, voltage, current and power factor. So for this the watt meter connected in the RY, the R phase is the voltage is VRY, the current is IR. What is the angle between VR and IR? It is 30 plus pi. The current is lagging by pi, angle pi. Right, already the 30 degrees there, so 30 plus pi. So V R Y I R into cos 30 plus pi. That is the power measured by the first watt meter. Voltage V R Y current I R. The voltage current and the angle between voltage and current is 30 plus pi. So that cos 30 plus pi. Another watt meter connected in B phase. So the voltage is B V B Y. The current is I B. This is current I B. What is the angle between this current is leading here? So 30 minus pi. 30 degree already there. In that we need to subtract this angle. 30 minus pi. So VBY into IB into cos 30 minus pi. Right. So that is the reading of the second watt meter. So from the phasor diagram it is very clear. So this is the phase voltage. VR, VY, VB. The negative of VY is minus VY. Vector sum of VR and VY is VRY. Vector sum of VY and VB is VBY. 
the reading of first watt meter is this voltage connected in r phase so v r y into i r cos 30 plus pi the reading of second watt meter is v b y connected in b phase v b y i b into cos 30 minus pi right so we will see now how these two watt meter reading will give the total power of the three phase three phase system the three voltages VRN, VYN and VBN are displaced at an angle of 120 degree electrical as shown in the phase diagram. Right? So these phase voltages are displaced by 120 diagram. The phase current lag behind the respective phase voltage by angle of pi. That also we referred. IB and IY we referred that IR we referred that it is lagging by angle pi. The power measured by the watt meter W1 and W2. Right. So, from the phasor diagram what we discussed, now we will see the equation, power measured by watt meter W1 and W2. Reading of the watt meter W1 is Vry into R IR into cos pi 1. This cos pi 1 is nothing but cos 30 plus pi. We already discussed in the diagram, phasor diagram. So, Ry IR can be written as VL into IL because it is a balanced system. This is the line voltage and line current. VL IL cos 30 plus pi for the watt meter reading 1. Watt meter reading W2 is connected in B phase. VBY IB cos pi 2. Cos pi 2 is cos 30 minus pi. We already discussed in the diagram. Pi is available inside. So that 30 minus pi. So that VL IL cos 30 minus pi. Right. So we got the w1 reading and w2 reading so the total power equal to p equal to w1 plus w2 now we'll add these two and we'll verify whether it will give the total power of the three phase system so vlil cos 30 plus pi plus vlil cos 30 minus pi right so vlil is taken common so cos 30 plus pi plus cos 30 minus pi cos a plus b is nothing but cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so that cos 30 plus pi is cos 30 cos pi minus sin 30 sin pi similarly cos a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so that cos 30 minus pi is cos 30 cos pi plus sin 30 sin pi here plus minus mean here plus here plus mean here minus so this sin term got cancelled 2 times of cos 30 cos pi. So, VL IL 2 into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 into cos pi. So, 2 2 got cancelled. So, that what we got root 3 VL IL cos pi. So, this is nothing but the total power of the 3 phase system. So, the 2 watt meter reading while adding we got that it will give the total power of the 3 phase system. Thus, the sum of the readings of 2 watt meter is equal to the power absorbed in the three phase balance system right 2 watt meter reading while adding will got the total power of the three phase system now we will see the power factor we will analyze the power factor so determination of the power factor from watt meter reading so as we know that w1 plus w2 equal to root 3 vl il cos pi now we will find w1 minus w2 in order to find the power factor we need w1 minus w2 so vl il cos 30 plus pi minus VLIL cos 30 minus pi, right. So, VLIL is taken common cos 30 plus pi minus cos 30 minus pi. So, cos 30 plus pi is cos 30 cos pi minus sin 30 sin pi. This minus of already your minus available outside. Cos 30 minus pi is as we discussed earlier, cos 30 cos pi sin 30 sin pi. Here negative mean here positive. Here positive means negative. Now multiply this negative inside. So cos 30 cos pi minus sin 30 sin pi minus cos 30 cos pi this this become plus sin 30 sin pi right. So this cos term got cancelled. This cos term and cos term got cancelled. This is negative minus. So that what we got it is nothing but VL IL 2 times sin 30 sin pi. Right, negative sign is not a problem. This is also negative and this is also negative. Right. So that sign that is 1 by 2. So 2 2 got cancelled is sign pi. So V L I L sign pi. W1 minus W2 is V L I L sign pi. Now we'll see the we'll go further further how to measure the power factor. 
root 3 v w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2. So, this is the power factor. We find the power, power factor of this reading. So, root 3 into w1 minus w2 is vlil sin pi. w1 plus w2 is root 3 vlil cos pi. So, all terms got cancelled. Sin pi by cos pi is tan pi. Right? We are going in a reverse order, tan pi. So, we find the value for this expression we got tan pi. So, tan pi equal to root 3 w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2. So, that tan pi equal to tan inverse, this tan will go to in tan inverse. Tan inverse root 3 w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2. So, we know that power factor is cos pi. That is equal to cos of pi value. Pi value is this one. Tan inverse root 3 w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2. Right. So, this is the power factor. From the watt meter to watt meter, we can measure the power factor also. Now, we will analyze the watt meter reading, the effect of power factor. Now, we will see the effect of power factor on watt meter reading. It is clear that lagging power factor cos by 1 watt meter readings are W1 equal to VLIL cos 30 plus pi, W2 equal to VLIL cos 30 minus pi, right? We have W1 and W2. Thus, readings W1 and W2 will vary depends upon the power factor angle pi. So, base all are common. Only this pi will vary. If the pi varies, W1 and W2 value will vary. Pi increases here added, here subtracted. So, the pi will decide the power factor. Now, we will analyze this reading with respect to the pi value. So, there are tabular column is available. Three different cases are there. This is a power factor, pi value, W1, W2 remark. Suppose cos pi equal to 1 means pi value is 0. For pi 0, cos pi is 1. This is power factor. Cos pi is the power factor. In that pi is 0 means cos pi 0 that is equal to 1, value is 1. What is the, what is the meaning? Cos pi equal to 1 means that is root 3 by 2 VL IL. Here also root 3 by 2 VL IL because pi is 0. Pi 0 means both the equations are equal. Both are equal and positive. Right? The pi value 0 means W1 is VL IL cos pi into cos 30. Similarly, W2 also VL IL cos 30. Both are equal. Suppose pi is 60 degree, then cos pi cos 60 is 1 by 2 that is 0.5. Now, we need to substitute cos pi equal to 0.5. In that case, it is 0. W1 value is 0. W2 is root 3 by 2 VL IL. So, 1 is 0, another 1 is second is the total power. Suppose cos pi is 90 degree, then cos pi is 90 degree. Pi is 90 degree means cos pi is 0. So, we will substitute by substituting cos pi equal to 0, we got minus 1 by 2 VL IL. This is plus 1 by 2 VL IL. Both are equal and opposite, right? So, 0 degree, pi 0 degree means both are equal and positive. 90 degree means both are equal and opposite. 60 degree means one is 0, another one is the total power, right? So, in this tabular column, this pi value, this pi value is substituted here. By substituting the pi value, we are calculating W1 and W2. First case, pi value is 0. 0 means VLIL cos 30. VLIL cos, both are equal. So, we have equal and positive degree. Second case, pi is 60. Means, this is become cos 90. Cos 90 is 0. This value is 0. Here, 30 minus 6 is minus 30. So, that we got again root 3 by 2 VLIL. Suppose, pi value is 90 degree, nice. 30 plus 90, 120 degree. So, we got negative value. 30 minus 90 is minus 60, we got positive value. These two values are equal and opposite, right. So, in this video, we discuss how to measure the total power of the three-phase system using two watt meter method. We analyze the reading while adding the two readings, watt meter W1 and W2, we come to know that it will give the total power. From that, we calculated power factor and also we will analyze the effect of power factor on the watt meter reading. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.